Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. I know you have stepped outside and it's cold. Ooh with winter weather <laughs> and of course with that comes different health issues mm. not to mention all the bad eating habits we pick up during the mm -hmm, holiday season yeah. i'm eating so much and so terribly right now <laughs> here to help us make better choices and get through the season is our friend dr frida frischer yeah. Yeah. welcome Hi. back to the show thank you it's always good to have you all yes. right Christmas, Thanksgiving, this is when we do a whole lot. We want to, we're at the gym though, we're like, okay, well, let me just offset it with a little caloric deficit. How do we remain healthy and not overindulge at mm. the same time? Mm. Yeah. Good luck, mm. child. Mm. Yes. Tis the season <laughs> Tis to, to be eating. To be right. Right. Yes, it, is. it is, and for the average American, mm -hmm. most of the weight gain occurs from the week before Halloween, mm -hmm. when we buy the Halloween candy oh, the for candy. our kids all the way through mm -hmm. the first week after the new year when you're still finishing up auntie's mm -hmm. macaroni and cheese and pound cake mm -hmm. and the average american gains five to seven pounds during the holiday season that's a lot but that's the average person right. yeah. we tend to be overachievers yeah. <laughs> when it comes to eating so wow. we gain we go all the way so we oh, have to stay my. focused on being healthy during the season and i guess that's all about portion control what do we tell Jesus. our viewers ourselves are not overindulging <laughs> yes. but you, you just have to set some parameters. So here are some tips I give my patients. Okay. For the holiday parties, don't show up to the party hungry. hungry. Yeah, yeah, don't man. show up all ravenous like you've never seen food before. <laughs> Eat something yep. that is protein filled, fiber filled before you go and then you'll make better choices. You won't go straight for the dessert table mm -hmm. for the carbohydrates. What, what, do you, what do you say about drinking though? Because that's calories too. That's calories. And if you're eating a lot of calories and if you're drinking your calories in alcohol, well that's a making of a mess. Mm -hmm. So you want to drink water so you're not so During the holidays. Tempted during the holidays. Yes. Yes. We're doing everything. Yes, yes, you want to drink some water. Yes. You do. And be in, in moderation with everything yes. you do. Yes. And also for the eating. Yes. You want to survey the food table and go for the healthy things, Miss Quad. Why do you have to look at me? Because I'm swimming away from you. Face. Yes. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> and you want to try to do love to eat. I can't help it. And and, and cook. Ooh, I've, I've been watching you. <sighs> yes. Okay, so, but you want to make sure you fill up your plate with yes. at least 50% of vegetables and non-starchy foods okay. and salad, and okay. then that helps with the portion control. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. But like you were saying, when you, when we tend to do the holiday picking with the eating, and we right. do tend to drink a little too much yes. while we're nibbling, and that sugar is mm -hmm. definitely not good. But tell us how it, how effective water is between each drink. Mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. it comes that to is the very good. And Hydration and it fills you up too. It does. It fills yes. you up. And Hydration. when you drink alcohol, alcohol. Alcohol acts like a diuretic, mm -hmm. like a water mm -hmm. pill, mm -hmm. so it dehydrates you. Yeah. And you can get sick, you can get hangovers if Alcohol you don't poisoning. drink enough water. You can. Remember, the recommended maximum intake of alcohol is one drink for ladies per day, yes, even on the holidays. One drink per day. And two drinks for men. I know that's, that's hard with the, with the celebrations, but that's still what is recommended. Daily. And a drink. A drink is very specific. It is 12 grams of ethanol. That's 12 ounces of beer. Y'all are tripping. Eight ounces of wine. You don't see these faces at this table, though. Eight ounces of wine. When you say one drink a day, these all the faces. I'm so serious. And if you're talking about something that's an 80 proof hard liquor. Daily. Once a day. Once a day. If it's something that's 80 proof alcohol, then just 1.5 ounces is a drink. That's big negative, soldier. So eight glass is not just pouring alcohol into the same glass. It is not. No, 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 no. No, ma'am. That's not what it is. <laughs> I had to ask for <laughs> clarification. Thank you. Right. Uh, well, speaking of alcohol consumption, how do we deal with stress? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's one of the things that uh, Ooh, usually gets me through you my, my, <laughs> my concept. It's true. But um, yes, Dr. <laughs> this it is a very, you know, the, the, the winter and the cold <laughs> weather yeah. can put you in that solemn Cozy. mindset yeah. sometimes. And because we get to eating and drinking, now we get we start being hard on ourselves. True. So how do we combat the stress? You have to because that can make you even fatter. It can make you it can yes. make you fatter if you are stressed out and eating. You have to manage expectations. A lot of times we look at TV, everything seems so perfect, right. and, and you're supposed to be joyous and peaceful and happy during the holidays. Yeah. But it's stressful. Sometimes we're depressed, mm -hmm. and so we have to not be perfectionist, not expect everything to go right, but understand that there may be chaos. Mm -hmm. You may have lost a loved one and be feeling mm -hmm. sad. Yes. It's okay. So don't be too hard on yourselves during the holidays. Also, what you were mentioning about finance, don't put too much demands on yourself mm -hmm. when you are outspending your budget. 
trying to make Tell people, people happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the reason for the season, yes. and it's not going into debt. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, let's talk about keeping ourselves healthy during the holidays in terms of getting cold, maybe yes. pneumonia, the flu. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, the flu shot has gotten a very bad rep, honey. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is bad. It, they found the flu shot down on the shade room. It's bad rep. <laughs> bad <laughs> I'm just saying. Sorry to this flu shot. I'm saying. So what do you what do you say about that? Do you think it's a great <laughs> idea to go and get the, the flu shot or to just completely avoid it altogether? It is a great idea to get the flu shot. And the CDC recommends that everyone six months and over get it. Now, I have a different perspective. Having worked in the hospitals, I watch healthy people people die mm. from the flu. Influenza virus is no joke. Over mm. 3 million Americans get it. Now, the flu shot, there's some myths that it can actually give you the flu, right. but it cannot. The flu shot, the flu vaccination, has a dead virus. So some people may have a reaction where they get a little bit of cold symptoms, mm -hmm. but trust me, it does not compare to the actual influenza virus. So I recommend that people get the flu shot because babies, pregnant women, the elderly are at high risk. Mm -hmm. So get the flu shot. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, y'all heard it first. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's all we love when you come down to the circle. Yes, I love we to come to the circle. Yes. Thank you. For more information and to get more healthy tips, uh, check out Dr. Frida's website, drfrida.com.